hello welcome to our second lesson in partial differential equations all right so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe for more videos all right let's start so in this lesson we'll go through how to solve first order pde where the de dependent variable u depends on only two variables okay all right so if i have um, a pde a linear partial differential equation of first order like this how do i solve it now it is very very simple right okay so what you have to do is that you have to know something that we call characteristic method okay so this method i'm coming to show you is what we call the characteristic method okay all right so with the characteristic method what you have to do is you have to find a linear function or a linear equation or some function f of x y that characterizes this partial differential equation okay now the function that will characterize this is dy dx okay equals b over a so in other words it's like dy corresponds to the b chord component this side and ds corresponds to this one okay so you solve this ODE okay just this simple ODE and the function you get will be the function that will characterize it so let's try to solve this if you want to solve this what you do is this is just a separable ODE okay so B over A then the X so if I integrate both sides I get Y equals B over A X plus some c okay now this c can be written as y or let's say if i have um, this fraction okay this fraction i can solve it i can write something like a y equals b x plus c now get a y okay a y minus bx equals c now if i divide through by negative one i get bx minus ay equals negative c which is still a constant so let me call that one to a c now this c is now a function of both x and y okay so i can call it s i can call it c i can call it k any anyhow i want to call it okay so this is our function that characterizes the whole of this partial differential equation okay so the solution to this partial differential equation now becomes very very simple okay the solution is u of xy okay u of xy is now equal to f of c where our c is the whole of this okay so it's very very simple like that now if you have been given any initial condition that is easy to find a um, particular solution so this will be a general solution to this simple pd okay so now let's move on to the new slide and then solve an example there okay all right so i have an example like this okay so now you can see that the actual pd here is 5 ux plus 2 ui equals 0 now we are saying that we have dy dx should be equal to whatever that is in front of ui and that is 2 so i have 2 over whatever that is in front of ux and i have 5 okay now dy is equal to 2 over 5 dx okay now y should be equal to 2 over 5 x plus some c okay this is c all right so i have 5 y is equal to 2x plus you know c times 5 is 5 c and it's still a constant okay all right i i think i forgot to explain that uh, the previous one okay this side that i did the multiplication a times y is a y a times c is just still a constant so that is why i could i didn't see anything okay all right then i have my c 
or negative c to be equal to 2x minus 5y here i just divided through by negative 1 and i'll get my c to be 2x minus 5y why because negative c is still a constant so we are saying that the solution to this whole pde that is written here is now equal to f of 2x minus 5y okay this is very very simple right this is a solution but we've been given some initial conditions here so you have to use the initial conditions to find the particular solution to this pd okay so let me raise this side and write it there okay now if i have something like that what does this mean whatever that i have here u of zero comma y means that wherever i see x i put zero wherever i see y i put y and the final answer should be sine of x okay so u of zero comma y is actually equal to this is my u of x so wherever i see x in the u of s which is giving us f of 2x minus 5 for i put zero there okay and y i put what um y there okay zero minus 5 times y because the y is still y okay and now we are saying that this will give me what f of negative 5 y and this should be equal to sine of y that is what is written here that u of 0 comma y should be equal to sine of y now this is f of negative 5 y what is let's find f of just one variable let's say f of w it will be what then you have to do some change of variables let w be equal to negative 5 y if that is the case then y will be equal to negative w over 5 okay i hope you get it i just made y the subject from this equation okay all right if that is the case we want to find f of w so that we can use to solve the f of 2x minus 5y which is the solution okay all right let me write the f of 2s minus 5y at the top and then come and simplify whatever we have here okay so we are saying that our solution u of x y is equal to f of 2x minus 5y now what this and this means is that f of w will now be equal to sine of now my y is what because w is the whole minus 5y so sine of y y is what negative w over 5 then it means that f of every w is given by this okay f of every w is given by this expression here then f of 2x minus 5y is equal to what it means this whole thing will give me sine of negative of whatever that is here 2x minus 5y all over 5 that is the expression given here okay if that is the case yeah. let's clean here and write it clearly okay so that you would understand i hope this is very cool because um this is the simplest pd question you can get okay now this means that my f of 2x minus 5y can be simplified as sine of uh, let me raise my sign because it doesn't look nice to me sine of negative will affect the whole bracket and i'll get something like negative 2 over 5 x plus 5 negative you no know, it's plus so we become 5 y over 5 which will give me y so this whole thing is sine of y minus 2 over 5 x so it means the solution the particular solution to this question is u of x y is equal to from here from this side u of x y is what f of 2x minus 5 and f of 2x minus 5y is also giving us this 
which means that my u of x y is equal to sine of y minus 2 over 5 x so this is the solution to this question now i hope you understand this okay so this is the way you solve any pd given in this form once you have some a attached to u x plus and b attached to u y equals zero this is the process you pass through now let's go and see something okay so that in our next discussion we, we discuss about that what if i have something like this okay this equation how will i go about it okay this time i have a u x plus b u y plus c u equals some f of x y this is non-linear okay and this is not homogeneous how do i solve this so in our next discussion we'll discuss about how to solve and go about questions like this okay 